our next guest is a writer and speaker, sure to be an inspiration to moms and dads and kids of all ages with his uplifting line of children's books that focuses on gratitude and the art of being happy. He has garnered critical acclaim for his Zen book series, which teaches children some very valuable lessons. I'd like to welcome the inspiring author, Mark Brown, to Sidewalks Entertainment. Hey, Mark, are you there? Hey, Veronica, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. So I'm so excited to talk to you today, Mark. <laughs> I am honored to talk to you. Are you kidding? I love this. Thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> um, oh, beyond grateful over here. This is amazing, the stuff that you are up to. And we're just going to get right into this. Um, Mark, my goodness, I have to start by saying that I love this Zen book series. My toddler was so excited to read your books. Uh, oh, she couldn't awesome. put them down last night. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That means the world to me. Thank you. <laughs> yes, we, we're now calling you Uncle Mark and Auntie Amy because I, I teach her the names on the books. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I'll gladly accept that title with, with glee. <laughs> You're part of the family now. <laughs> I love that. Um, what time's dinner? What time's dinner? Okay, yeah, about six o'clock. <laughs> if All you right, can I'll make be it. There. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Mark, this is so awesome what you're up to. Can you share a little bit about what inspired this creation of these beautiful books? Absolutely. So long story short, I owe the entire Zimpid universe to my son. Uh, I had him when I was 26. And when I looked into his beautiful, innocent baby boy eyes and I thought, holy moly, I need to help this kid learn these life-changing values way before I did. And this is embarrassing, but I didn't practice gratitude or mindfulness or self-forgiveness until I was 24. And, you know, when I would go look for resources oh. for him, they weren't there. And so I wrote Zen Pig truly and honestly for him first. And I just wanted him to have that skill set before I did. Oh, Oh my God, we all want that for our kids. <laughs> that is amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, so I'm curious because, you know, you know, finding the path to, to writing is, it's always a really interesting story for writers. I mean, for anyone's, anyone's experiences doing anything in life. For you, like, what was it like mastering the art of writing and what path led you there? It was honestly, it was a complete accident, to be honest with you. I went to film school and I got my degree in video production and all that. So I was a writer and director before I wrote Zen Pig. Um, but as you know, Veronica, production hours are crazy long. And so yep. I, I couldn't, I, yeah, definitely. And so I, I knew that I needed to be uh, seeing Noble more and being more present with him. And so I just kind of transitioned from from writing for for video into the the children's books and so that was a it was a if you would have asked me when i was 16 if i would be a children's book author no chance would i imagine that but it's been so cool and so <laughs> rewarding it's been so rewarding i'm just so honored to be able to do it that's so cool okay so now mark i have to ask you know a lot of these zen pig stories carry so many valuable lessons and messages similar to like buddhist teachings and yoga i teach yoga as well so that's why i'm like oh my god i love this stuff <laughs> awesome and yes. i yeah, so, and I love the fact that you incorporate all these messages and the fact that you mentioned, like, at the end of the book, namaste, because I say that to my daughter all the time whenever we're, we're sitting down doing some yoga. And I'm curious for you, were you into yoga or, like, what is, how did this all come about? Well, this, you know, my introspective journey began when I was 24. And so meditation and some yoga all played into that, right? Like, that's just how you, you heal from the inside out. And so I yeah. definitely wanted to integrate that. And, and as you mentioned, every Zen pig uh, ends with namaste, you know, the light in me honors and loves the light in you. And what a beautiful sentiment. And so I wanted, you know, I had never heard that word as a child. And so I wanted to present that to kids to let them know like, hey, this is a thing. And it's a nice little segue into the yoga universe if they choose to, to practice. Yeah, no, it's beautiful. Everything from the, the messages and the artwork, we have to talk about the artwork and how that happened because this sounds like your, your, your partner in life helped you with this as well. Can you tell me a little about the artwork? Absolutely. So 
uh, Noble's mom illustrated the first four books and she's an incredible artist. And this is a secret Veronica, so you can't tell anybody, but uh, when I <laughs> conceptualize Zen Pig, uh, the international symbol for Zen is just one brushstroke circle. And so if you look at Zen Pig, that's what he is. He's two Zen symbols stacked on top of each other. Um, but we, we knew that, you know, the series needed to be, you know, beautiful minimalist art paired with concise messaging. And so that's what it is. And, and I'm very proud and very uh, grateful for her to do this artwork. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, that's so cool. I, that's awesome when you're able to be a power couple and like do something that's so that you guys are both passionate about together and create something together. That's just magical. So <laughs> yeah, it's wild and I'm grateful for it for sure. So I'm curious for you, I can already imagine, you know, Zen Pig turning into a kid's show. Have you thought about that? I fantasize about that all the time. And that <laughs> is something that will, you can, you can bet your last nickel that I will get that done. Uh, that is definitely in the Zen Pig journey for sure, because I just want, I know how important it is for these messages to get to children. And some children don't resonate very well with books. Some might not resonate well with yeah. the show, but, but I want at least it to be available to however they want to learn. And I know how life changing these values are. And so I'm going to hit it from every angle that there is <laughs> because, you know, that's, it's just so important, especially in this day and age, you know? Definitely, especially with what's going on in this world. I, you know, I love that there's writers like you and that you're bringing this to the table for, for children and, and for moms and dads to kind of also learn from it as well. Um, I'm curious for you again, like what, what kind of inspired you growing up and like what authors, what are some of your favorite authors or maybe what, what's a book that you think everybody should read? I'm sure there's a sure. lot. <laughs> I, I, I am personally a personal development junkie. So, you know, I love, you know, Tony Robbins and, you know, I love Thich Nhat Hanh and Eckhart Tolle and like all yeah. of these people, you know, I'm just, every morning I get up and I practice my meditation. I practice my gratitude and I try to nurture my mind with these things that, that help you, you know, blossom and bloom and grow and evolve, you know? So um, these are all right. things that are so important. And, you know, that definitely transitions into the Zen Pig universe, you know, those things bleed yeah. into that. That's awesome. That's great. I, I'm, I'm curious, did you read The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho? Of course I did. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Absolutely. Right on. We're on the same vibe then. <laughs> oh, Mark, we ride the same wave, Rhonda. Yeah. That's right. Oh my God, Mark, I wish I could talk to you more. Please come back. Let us know if you can come back and talk to us some more about what you're up to in these books. Um, we love what you're doing and we'd love for you to share more about your advice and your experience. So um, just want to say much success and namaste all the way to you. Thank you so namaste, much. Namaste, Monica. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, thanks to our guest, Mark, for joining us today to talk about his magical series, uh, book series, Zen Pig. Such a great book to read to your children. I am a fan of it already. All right, if you are interested in reading his books, you can check out a link on our website at sidewalkstv.com. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.